Okay, now we are going to learn how to play a media file from a remote server using the file URL in an Android application. So, for demonstrating the playback from a remote server, you have to upload the file into a remote server. So, here I am going to use the Google Drive to upload an MP3 file. So, this is the MP3 file. Now, I am going to upload this file into Google Drive. So open my Google Drive and here I am going to upload this file into Google Drive. The file name is Media Demo. This is an MB3 format sound. Open. Now the file is uploaded. Yeah, now it's successfully uploaded into Google Drive. We can see the file from here and click the share option. Okay, one more thing you have to yeah, click the share option and click the advanced option and change change the access policy change it into public click save and now you can get the file URL from here copy this file URL click done okay now this is the file URL this is the URL of the file mb3 file now I uploaded into Google Drive so for playing a media file from a server you have to make sure that the file is capable of progressive download. Progressive download means you can play the media file at the time of the file downloading progress. For example, in the case of YouTube, you can see that you can play the video file while your computer download that particular video from the Google server. That is that type of download is called progressive download. So you have to make sure that the file is capable of progressive download to play in a, in an Android application. Okay, so this is the URL I got from Google Drive. So now I made some changes on the URL. This is the file ID. So I copy the file ID and I put it put it in another URL http docs google.com you see question mark export equal to download and id equal to put the id okay now i copy this id this is the progressive this this url is capable of a progressive file downloading okay now we can create the project in android studio so here i already create the projects so whenever user click the play button on the activity main.xml we have to play the music so on the button on click method here is the on click method of the button here I create an object of media player initialize that object and here on the try catch block I prepare the media player and start the media player now we have to set the data source for the media player so here the data source is from a remote server so i create a string variable string file path equal to i copy the edited url from the google drive and paste it here Okay. Now call the method set data source media player dot set to data source. Here the data sources that particular string file file path. Okay. And one more thing, now we use the internet to download this file from Google Drive. So you have to provide the permissions on the Android manifesto.xml file. 
So open your Android manifest.xml file and specify the needed permissions. Use permissions Android name equal to Android permission dot internet. Okay. Now we can test the application on a real device. You have to make sure that your device has a network connectivity to the internet. So I'm going to run this application on a device. So click the run button. Okay, now the application is available on my device. Now I'm going to play a file located in Google Drive using this application. So this may take some time. The time will depend upon your connection speed. So now I am going to play the music. I click the play music button. Hello, welcome to this demo MP3. Now this MP3 is played from Google Drive. This will demonstrate how to play a media file from a remote server in an Android application. Thank you for listening to this MP3. Okay, this is how we play a music file from a remote server in an Android application. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next episode.